Hi students, welcome to Prodigy. My name is Sri Kumar and today I'm going to help you to log into your Prodigy account. Before we start logging into your Prodigy account, there are certain steps or points you need to keep in mind. Step number one, if you're logging in using your mobile device, you can always download the Prodigy Math Game app from the Play Store or if you're directly logging in via the website, you can always visit www.prodigygame.com or play.prodigygame.com and log into your account. Always make sure you click on the Play Prodigy option and then click on the Login option. I'm sure most of your teachers must have already given the login credentials to you. Some of you might have received the login credentials in this format. Whenever you enter your username and password, there are certain points you need to keep in mind. Ensure the username and password you enter is in small letters. There should not be any space or gaps whenever you enter the username and password. In case you, your username has any dots, numbers, etc., please don't forget to enter that as well. And always remember students, the first 16 to 20 questions that appears within the game on the homework date will be your assignment questions. And don't forget to log in to your account and complete the assignment questions before the deadline every week. Now let's see how to log into your account. Whenever you visit the website, www.prodigygame.com, this is the page that would appear in front of you. On the right hand side, you can see an option called as Play Prodigy. Once you click on Play Prodigy, you have to always click on the login option. Always ensure to enter your username and password in small letters without any gaps. Once you enter your username and password, you have to click on login. You have to always remember to follow the guiding hand. In case you are a new user and using Prodigy for the first time, it will ask you to customize the hair color, eye color, and other features and then you have to always follow the guiding hand always click on the next button it will ask you two options whether you're playing from school or you're playing from home always click on the second option that is from home you can see six world that is there in front of you you can choose any option that you like so i'm choosing the first option Always remember to click on the next option, which you can see on the right hand side. Continue clicking on the next option. And it would ask you to choose a name uh, for your wizard as well. You can choose any name which you like and click on I'm done. And continue clicking on the next option. And this is where your wizard battle starts. So if you answer the right question, the opponent would start losing the points. And if you answer the wrong question, you will start losing the points. If I click on next, you have to start casting a spell. So as I said you before, always follow the guiding hand. So you can click on the first spell and this is how the question appears in front of you. So always remember, you have to start counting the first 16 or 20 questions whenever the teacher gives assignment and you have to complete the assignment before the deadline. Once you click, the right option and click on cast spell. It'll tell you your answer is correct and your opponent starts losing the points. This is how you need to continue playing the game uh, for the questions that your teacher gives. Have a wonderful day and make sure you start practicing your assignment questions on Prodigy and wish you all the best. Thank you.